Let's take a look at the atomic structure for lithium, Li. We're going to look at the Bohr-Rutherford diagram, or model here, for the lithium atom. So lithium has an atomic number of three. We look at it on the periodic table. And that tells us that we have three protons, because the atomic number, that's the number of protons. The number of protons also equals the number of electrons for a neutral element. And all the elements on the periodic table, they're neutral. So in our Bohr diagram here, we have our nucleus that has three protons in it. And then we have one, two, three electrons around the nucleus. And they're in energy levels. We have one, two energy levels for the lithium atom. So when we look at the structure of the lithium atom, here's how we figure out where the electrons go in those energy levels. So lithium right here is lithium on the periodic table. So we have three total electrons. We have one, two. This is the first period. This is the first energy level. So we have two in the first energy level. We'll put them right here. Then we go to the second energy level. That's the second period. And since we only have three, we put two here. Right here is lithium. We can only put one in the second energy level. And that's it. This is the Bohr diagram, or lithium. You'll note that this electron right here in the outer shell that's called a valence electron. This is the electron that's going to form chemical bonds with other atoms. So it's important for us to be able to figure out how many electrons we have in that outer shell, those valence electrons. If you need help with figuring out the number of neutrons in the mass number, there's a link at the end of this video. This is Dr. B with the Bohr diagram, also called the Bohr model for lithium. Thanks for watching.